Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to a Monday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Herz, and today in studio, I have Sean from Sauce Leopard. Welcome, Sean. How's it going? So if you got a case of the Mondays, his hot sauces will cheer you up. What? It's the cure. It's the cure. It's the cure. Yeah. Give us a little history of you and Sauce Leopard. So I grew up in New Jersey. I came out to Colorado about 11, 12 years ago uh, to go to school. Um, after school, which I went to CU in Boulder, I graduated, moved to Denver. Uh, I've been working in the music and service industry since. Um, this has always been another passion of mine though. Um, and recently I lost some work from the pandemic and yeah. some, opened some doors. Um, Making lemonade out of lemons. Yeah, exactly. Um, previously I was just kind of cooking at home, uh, making for bands, friends. Uh, I used to draw every label actually by hand. Uh, so you designed these labels, I right? did. I drew all four of the, all five of these except the ass gasher here. Um, pardon my language, but it's the name of the sauce. Um, <laughs> and when, when did you start bottling these and selling these? So about, let's see, just over a year ago, November 2019, I launched a web store from home um, and had a couple events at bars. And at the time, it wasn't really serious. It was kind of a side gig. And... Things really started to take off. Uh, I had more and more demand coming in, and in March I lost some work from the pandemic, as did many other people, and I took another passion of mine, and with the time I had, um, being at home a little more during lockdown, I was able to do all the research and get everything locked in. It was, it was a very time-consuming process, um, all the, you know, food legalities and yeah, they, they don't make it easy on you. They don't, but uh, I understand why. Yeah, they don't want anybody getting people. sick. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was able to use that time and start this business. We had it up and running in about, I think in July of 2020, we were fully officially licensed as a manufactured food company. Um, let's jump into here the, we are. Let's jump into the sauces. I'm going to try them all. Uh, so describe this one first. So the Crimson Drip is our Fresno pepper sauce. This is more of like an everyday go-to red, um, kind of like a Tapatio Mexican style sauce. I like it on tacos, eggs in the morning, burgers. You can really put it on anything. It's a pretty mild heat. Say, I'm putting it on pork tenderloin. You think it'll be good on pork tenderloin? I do. Dude. Yeah, that's phenomenal. So this has uh, Fresno peppers, Carrots, mm. onions. Um, I should know all these without looking. <laughs> <laughs> Garlic, spices, lots of chili powder in there. Pretty, pretty easy sauce. That would be good on eggs. All right, what do we got next? And then this is the emerald slime, our verde sauce. Another good one on eggs. Uh, really great on you know anything you like green stuff on Mexican food especially. Uh, this is jalapenos and serranos, so it's a little bit higher heat than this. It's got Gosh, lime juice, garlic. Spot. Um, probably about a five out of 10 on heat. I like how you're just covering the whole yeah. piece of meat with it. <laughs> we don't play around. They're all flavor forward, not, wow. not too crazy on heat. Dude, you got something here. Thank you. I'm excited to keep going. Yeah. So the next up is the ass gasher and cool story about this. This is a, a local, um, a collaboration we do with a local metal band called Axe Slasher. So it's a play on their name and a play on their logo. And Justin LaSalle, the front man of that band, actually did the, the artwork for this label. Um, I did the other four. And he also designed my logo as well. Um, very talented graphic designer. Awesome thrash metal band. Check them out. So this is a sriracha. It's sweet and garlicky. It's a Fresno pepper base. Lots of garlic in there. Some habaneros to spike up the heat a little bit. I put sriracha on almost everything at home. Well, that's better than, than the traditional sriracha. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely got more flavor going on. More well rounded. All right. So, next up is the Colfax Killer. I started the business <laughs> on Colfax. Um, I recently just moved from East Colfax to West Colfax. So, the name is still relevant. Um, this is a mango, pineapple, banana, habanero sauce. Ma oh, so, mango, sweet. Mango, pineapple, banana, banana. And then habaneros. We'll bring the heat so it's sweet up front and then you'll get a, a nice nice kick on the end this one's a little bit hotter than the other three um i shouldn't have put this much on here i really like this <laughs> if you drink this is great in cocktails shake it into a margarita um splash in a vodka soda or something uh great wing sauce add a little melted butter to it that with the pork is a 10. yeah this is 
probably our best seller. Um, maybe because of the name in Denver, the, the Colfax Ave reference, but it's also tasty stuff. All right. Get now, a little sweat going. <laughs> Not bad, though. So this is our ghost pepper sauce. Um, this uh -oh. is a smoky <laughs> cinnamony. It's got a jalapeno habanero base, but we spike it with ghost peppers for a little extra heat. Uh, this is it's great for grilling, great for meats. So the pork tenderloin here is perfect. Um, give it a shot there. It's, it's not too much hotter than the Colfax Killer though, but pretty unique flavor. There's lots of different spices in there. You found your calling, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this stuff is Appreciate amazing. It. Where can people get your products? So we're in about, let's say, 15 to 20 stores around town right now. Um, we're in SK Provisions in Denver Central Market. We are at the Mondo Market in Stanley Marketplace in Aurora. Mm -hmm. uh, Lou's Italian in Five Points. Mutiny Information Cafe on Broadway. Um, Is there a list on your website? There's a full list on our web website. What's uh, the website? SauceLeopard.com. Uh, our social media tag is Sauce Leopard, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're not too active on the Twitter, but you can find us everywhere. Yeah. Twitter. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. Um, what do you run? What do these? Uh, what do you charge for these? The retail locations they 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 run from anywhere from five or six dollars up to eight dollars. But on the website they are about eight dollars a piece. Right now you can get ten percent off on all shipping orders uh, with discount code Drip Ten. Okay. Um, and then and then you got this package here. So we sell in three packs. These are twenty four ninety nine. We have a five pack full five pack set for $39.99. You can buy them individually. You can mix and match the three pack. Uh, we ship anywhere, any country, um, any state. Give them the website. SauceLeopard.com. On there you can find our retail locations, a little bit about us, uh, some photos and videos. Um, but be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. That's where we post most of our daily content. We a little bit behind the scenes stuff of us cooking. Um, those those are always fun shots. Thanks for coming in, Sean. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm a saw. I love hot sauces. These are all incredible. Do you have to refrigerate these after they open? You don't. It you, you don't have to. It's kind of preference. We say it on the bottle. Um, I think the FDA prefers that, but you don't need to. It's kind of a a preference thing. I think the temperature can change the viscosity and the flavor just a little bit. Sure. So it's a personal preference thing. All right. Pleasure to meet you. We'll see you today at 1130 for another episode of What's for Lunch. We have Alloy Thai coming in. I'm going to have another bite of this pork tenderloin with a habanero, was it? Yep. Banana. Pineapple, pineapple. mango, banana. You. That with the pork you. is a 10. Let's eat. It's so good.